Hey guys, welcome to something new. I'm running on my channel. It's called Six Star Shooters. It's um, very similar to my um, road trip um, series, actually. It's basically where I get all the guns on Just Cause 2, six stars, and give you my favourite, my the best tips uh, on them, and some just some information about them, and um, why they're good to use. Um, so, here today we have the shotgun, and when I first started using this gun, I have to admit, I thought it was rubbish. I thought it was literally the worst thing ever. Literally. Worst thing ever. But, I stuck for it for a while, got it to about level 3 for you guys, and then I realised, oh my good lord, this is amazing. It is a proper beast. You will literally beast and feast on the police. Um, sorry. Um, a quick, quick stats for you here. Um, the minimum number of shots to kill a usual soldier is one. No matter what level it is, you can always kill a just a, a soldier that carries, you know, the two-handed weapons. Always kill them in one shot. That's the minimum. You can kill them in more, but that is the minimum. See, glitches out. That's funny. Um, and the minimum number of shots to kill an elite soldier, no matter what level it is, is two. Which is also really good. Um, so basically, in upgrading the shotgun actually only increases the amount of ammunition it holds, the magazine size, and its range. So by increasing the range by upgrading the so shotgun, you are more likely to get those minimum number of min min minimum number of shot kills at a longer distance, which is good because it's really short distance. It's um, it's it's really good. Um, uh, close quarters combat see it takes me a few shots to kill that guy and then he dips behind the thing so I just jump up and kill him which was good um, and now let's talk about the ammunition oh wait hold on as you see in the background you can literally destroy anybody or anything in a couple of shots so good the only the only um, things the only power military marks landmark things that you get chaos for for destroying the only two things that I would not destroy with it are baby pan out statues because they don't take any bullet damage and the same thing with the mobile radars um, I've not actually tried radar dishes or arrays the, you know those things that sit on the top of the corners and things sounds retarded uh, basically those radars that spin around and stuff um, the mobile ones don't take out but I've not tried the other ones the ones that don't move they might be okay um, so but onto the magazine size at uh, level 1 it's 6 6 bullets before I have to reload, at level 2 it's 8, at level 3 it's 10, at level 4 it's 12, at level 5 it's 14, at level 6 it's 16. And these are official facts off the Just Cause 2 wiki. So here I call in some more ammo, and you get a load of ammo, it's it's awesome. Um, and basically, having having 16 bullets in your magazine at level 6 is unbelievable. That means you can kill, because of the range increase as well, you can pretty much kill 8 elites from a reasonably close distance from like this distance about max um, which is very very helpful um, as you see I destroyed the field up to kill those which is actually pretty clever that's a tip that you can use is, um, use your surroundings um, and now onto the max ammunition carried not counting the magazine so like, this is the amount of ammo you could have spare with a full magazine in um, it's 48 at level 1, at level 2 it's 64, at level 3 it's 80, at level 4 it's 96, at level 5 it's 112, and at level 6 it's 128. That is a lot of ammo, especially from a pretty much one shot kill on like the more common shoul so shoulders. Soldiers, it's a one shot kill. So that means you can get a lot of killing in. And it's very good before you have to call in any more ammo. And the thing is, a lot of um, a lot of elite soldiers actually use this weapon. Because see, like destroys antennas quickly as well. Surprised it actually reached that, to be honest. That's probably the bounds of its range. Um, because it all the clips were actually level four, not level six. But I did get it level six. But all the better clips I found were level four. And I used to go ham. And here's me destroying some wind turbines, as you see. Two shots. Two shots to destroy a wind turbine. I would never think of taking a wind turbine out with a gun. But then I just did it here. I was like, oh, I'm recording this. It was a monster. It is a proper monster. Um. And I've got some tips for it for combat and some locations you can find it before the video ends. Tips for combat are get a high health bar because you're always going to be in there. So find armor parts, use them to level up your health bar. It's definitely recommended because you are going to be in and around the enemy a lot. Um, 
and another tip is use your grapple hook because you always want to be dragging them towards you or like grapple hooking yourself towards them because you want to be in close with them so it's easier for them easier for you to kill them and another wait one final tip for combat is utilize your surroundings like if you're low on health duck behind cover and stuff like that um it's highly recommended and it it works a lot and see here look i'm getting literally getting surrounded by these guys so i'm just like ah and then use my grapple hook slingshot towards them and then just demolish them from close range. See, it's it's a beast. And quickly, the locations you can find it, they're carried by a lot of elite soldiers, as I said earlier. Um, demolition officers, they often use this weapon as well. And faction missions, including a lot of close quarter combat, will all will usually provide you with one. Uh, it's one of the la later weapon weapon later le we later weapons to be unlocked in the black market, and it costs um, fifty five thousand coins, which isn't that hard to get if you go around destroying stuff with this. Um, and it's the standard weapon for the guards above the Mile High Club on ab aboard the Mile High, Mile, Mile High Club. So, <laughs> tripping over my words. So yeah, it's overall I would give it about a four out four out of five. Actually, we'll do it on six because six star shooters. I do. I give it a five out of six because the only thing that lets it down. No, four out of six. Four out of six. Yeah, because the thing that lets it down is its rage range. So. Here's an outro, and I shall see you next time.